Hello, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. We're going to be doing an overview of Crown Bio's Hue Screen Plus platform. This is a one-to-one -one mouse trial, and I would like to introduce you to our Director of Scientific Engagement, Michelle Mack. She will be doing the overview for us. With that, I will turn it over. Thanks for joining today to listen to our Hue Screen Plus um, offering. So this is a unique in vivo screening platform uh, at Crown Bio that we're currently offering and it utilizes a one-to-one -one study design in order to evaluate drug responses using Crown Bio's PDX collection which is a very well characterized, characterized patient-derived xenograph collection. So during the Hue Screen Plus it's a very fast and efficient in vivo screening platform. Um, it, you can complete your study within six months turnaround times using our clinically relevant PDX models, which have proven ro robust growth curves. Um, within the Hue Screen Plus, you can cover more than 17 different indications. So this is a high throughput screening in order to assess anti-tumor efficacy of your candidate compounds using a large cohort of our um, PDX models. As I had said previously, this is a one-to-one -one study design, and this is, enables cost effectiveness while screening across many different tumor indications. So during the one-to-one -one study design, you'll have one mouse that is treated with a vehicle control and another mouse that is treated with your compound of interest. The endpoint, the readout, will be tumor growth inhibition. Um, and like I said, the, the, study complete, the study can be completed under six months. So why use Hue Screen? So um, right now there's a very high cost of drug development and discovery. Um, there's also a low success rate of compounds that progress into the clinic. So using the Hue Screen Plus platform, you can make informed decisions on your lead candidates and patient selection. Um, so one of the highlights of this is to evaluate your anti-cancer agents. So what you can do is um, you can identify your different lead indications, you can position so you can look at where your test compound is in relation to the competition, and also where it compares to other standard of care therapies that are currently on the market. And this will also aid um, in progressing your programs um, through go, no go decision making process. You can uncover, through Hue Screen Plus, you can uncover the mechanisms of resistance by developing strategies to overcome drug resistance. Also, you can leverage a biomarker discovery. So as you know, cancer is a heterogeneous disease. Um, often often um, certain mechanisms um, of drugs, they cannot work for all the patients in a population. So identifying predictive biomarkers in a patient population, this will aid in your patient stratification when you go into the clinic. Um, so as you go into the clinic, this will then lead to an increased success rate of your compound to move forward. Uh, also, Hue Screen Plus can inform clinical trial designs. So by looking at different combination strategies, looking at different dosing regimens, and this can be important if you want to reposition candidates that had failed previously in late stage clinical trials and come up with a new dosing regimen. Also, um, it can inform clinical trial designs when looking at first-line therapy versus second-line therapies. So what we have done <coughs> with our Hue screen is that um, we've, lo we've looked and compared um, human clinical trial versus a mouse clinical trial. So in a human clinical trial, patients are enrolled based on inclusion, set inclusion and exclusion criteria. Um, and then they're randomly allocated in, to go into the placebo or control therapy versus the test agent ar um, arm. So in a clinical trial, your endpoints for your data analysis are usually PFS, which is progression-free survival, or overall survival, OS. So in our mouse clinical trial, we've set this up the same as a clinical trial. So we have a... Um, one mouse that is treated with vehicle and another mouse that is treated um, with your test agent. So the endpoints 
for our mouse clinical trial would be survival, tumor growth inhibition, TGI, and also you can look at the uh, biomarker genetic signatures. So this is a very similar setup to a clinical trial looking at vehicle treated versus compound treatment. Um, I'd just like to reflect on a previous uh, publication that was um, in Nature Medicine, and this is from the, under a group of Novartis. So they demonstrate the clinical reproducibility of this approach, and how they did this was they, um, they identified the association between genotype and drug response, and they established the mechanisms of resistance. So this, this paper that was published um, by Novartis is in strong support of our Hue screen offering. So in the Hue screen model list, we have over 200 models available for this platform. And the, like I said, there are over 17 different indications. Um, they're fully characterized with RNA-seq data available. Um, Non-cachexic -co non and non-ulcerating models are available in this list. Uh, and they have very robust growth characteristics. So how the study design works is that inoculation is initiated within two to three months, dosing one month thereafter. So that allows us to finish these this Hue screen offering within less than six months. Um, this, this list is very similar, um, has many of the same characteristics as the previous slide. Here's an additional 30 models, or 30 models with, I believe, over seven indications. Um, again, the same outline for growth. It's inoculated in two to three months, dosing one month after, so we can finish the study in six months. These models also are fully characterized with RNA-seq data available. They are cachexic mo models that are non-ulcerating. But the, unique, the uniqueness of these 30 models is that they do have um, unique mutational profiles such as KRAS, PI3K, and FGFR mutations. So some um, examples of data that you that you will get from the Hue Screen Plus offering. Um, we will, th this is raw data that we're showing for two different PDX models, one that does respond and one that is a non-responder. So if you looked at PDX model one on your left, we have run vehicle test article and standard of care here. Um, you can see a significant anti-tumor effect absorbed in the test article. Um, and if you see below, um, we have indicated the tumor growth inhibition. So for the test article compared to vehicle, we see a 70% um, tumor inhibition and standard of care, we only see 30%. But if you look to your right, this is a non-responder for the test article. So you see um, the test article actually shows no tumor growth inhibition and has similar growth characteristics to vehicle treated, whereas the standard of care drug shows a 60% tumor growth inhibition. Um, so Hue screen, the details are it is a one plus one study design utilizing a select set of Crown Bio's PDX models that are located at our China facility. Again, one plus one is one mouse treated with vehicle and one mouse treated with your test agent. You do have to choose 50 models minimum to be involved to, um, to gain entry into the Hue Screen Plus offering. And you can also add on services such as biostatistical analysis and biomarker discovery to identify gene signatures. Some of the benefits of working with Crown is that you can have access to our unique collection of clinically relevant patient-derived xenograph models, and this will enable the selection and creation of a population-based study. We do have a global capacity of over 40,000 mice, which, which translates to that we can screen large number of candidates in vivo in parallel, and it can be very cost-effective. Crown is extremely flexible. It offers clients to join either existing trials or planned studies throughout the year. 
and we have over 200 models of proven robust growth characteristics available to choose from for this Hue Screen Plus offering. With that, I'd like to thank you for your attention and um, hope I've provided enough information to join our next Hue Screen Plus offering. Thank you.